So tell me, what's on your mind? Well, when I was in college, about seven years ago, I met a guy at a party. He seemed really nice. He seemed to really care about me. We started dating. One thing led to another and we became intimate. As you can probably guess, I got pregnant. My boyfriend dropped me. He never explained. I guess he didn't have to. He gave me an envelope with $300 in it and that's it. So I talked to my roommates, a couple of girls at school and they suggested that I get an abortion. It was easy, one of them said. Just bing, 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 and it's done. Problem solved. Was that all the advice you received? What about adoption? Are you kidding? No way. I might as well have worn it. A big red A on my jacket for nine months. There's just no possible way I could have endured that stigma. I was simply... I am simply not strong enough. How far along are you, Cindy? Just six weeks or so. Why didn't you just do what you did before? Why come to me this time? I just can't bring myself to have another abort. You need to help. You need to tell me what to do.
Listen, you were amazing out there. It was the last game of my senior year, Dad. I missed three of my free throws. Still, you were amazing. I am so proud of you. I'll see you guys at home. I don't want this to be Seem to drift to you, love. You know it's all that I can do, love, to stay right where I am. Cause right is a way. In his precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry, honey. I, I didn't mean to wake you. Wake you? Is everything okay? Fine. We'll be back in a minute. Are you looking for a safe, successful, and affordable way to adopt? We here at AAGC Adoption are a caring staff of adoptive parents ourselves, and we help couples all over the United States find their new little family member. Our personal adoption program will help you through your everlasting adoption journey. Start your journey today with us at All Are God's Children Adoption Agency. Call 1-800-555-0123. That's 1-800-555-0123. Or you can find us on the web www.allargodschildren.com no. Really? Really? <laughs> Getting kind of breezy, don't you think? <laughs> I know, I'm cool, Bob. <laughs> hey, Pastor, I'm glad you asked me to play today. I think I'm going to be able to win my dollar back from last week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's playing that poorly. Sure. So, uh, what's going on in your life, Pastor Ben? <laughs> uh, you guys are not going to believe this. My wife wants us to adopt a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I suppose it's Brian's there. Yeah, really. Oh, really, Ben? Yeah. No, What's really. What's going not, on? I'm not kidding. She wants us to adopt a baby. Do you guys remember how old you are? <laughs> how do you feel about that? How do you think he feels? His wife wants him to quit the country club and take up putt-putt again. I don't think there's any way. I mean, the thought of kids around again? Just break into a cold sweat every time I think about it. Did Anne say why she wanted to do this? Mm, I don't know. I mean, she said stuff about Christians providing a great home for kids. And I certainly know that. 
just not sold on it. I mean, is, is, is there anything wrong with me wanting to be done with that part of my life? Wanting to do the things that I've always wanted to do after the kids were growing up? I can certainly understand yeah. that. God is going to have to move me mightily. Do a whole lot of convincing before I'll even consider this. Well, do you think you can be moved to take your shot? <laughs> sure. Why not, man? <laughs> sure. Jeez, man. Well, you know, Ben, if you have a boy, we'll call you Pops. Go take a shot. And we'll help you tutor this young lad or lassie in the most holy game of golf. <laughs> you guys are no help. Try it again. Hi, what can I do for you? I just, well, I told my husband I'd call for information, but I decided to come in and see what your agency was all about. Why don't you take this home, go over it with him, and come back when you're ready. go and get me a new pair of slacks. There's something seriously wrong with this zipper. Uh, we can go on your day off and get you a new pair, I suppose. I'll uh, take a look at that paperwork tonight when I get home from work. While I'm off, see you later. Okay. Bye. Or maybe you could just read through all of that tonight and I'll uh, give me a summary when I, um, of course, I'll read through all of that tonight when I get home. Can't blame a guy for trying. Good morning. Ben Davis. How are you? Good. I'm Heather Stahl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm from that yellow house on the corner there, and I saw your boxes and furniture in the driveway. Thought I'd come by and welcome you to the neighborhood. Hey, what's going on? Hey there. Good morning. Ben Davis. Oh, hey, Jason Stahl. Nice to meet you. Me. Glad to meet you, Jason. This is really a nice neighborhood. I think you folks are really going to love it here. You know, if you have a minute, I'd like to tell you about the church that I pastor. Sure, that sounds good. Great, great. Well, we're located about 10 minutes from here, and uh, we offer two very uplifting and spiritual services. And, uh, and the people, well, the people are really nice. I think you'll really like them. You know, we're just trying to reach our community for Christ, and... Uh, oh, would you look at that. Actually, I'd rather you wouldn't. Um, well, I'll take that as my cue to let you two get back to your day. Here is my, my card. Thank it's you. Grace Lutheran Church. Our address and phone number is on the back. So, hope to see you this Sunday. Okay. All right, thanks. God bless you both. He seems... Nice. Seth, you scared the crap out of me. I thought you had to work till 11. I was going to tell you. So how far along are you? Three months. 
<laughs> and I thought you were just getting fat. Thanks. <laughs> So I don't have a choice. There is no choice. Uh, Seth, you know how many families I went through as a kid. That thing doesn't have to go through any of that. We can just get rid of it. The woman at the agency, she the, said that! The Christian agency! <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you think that family is going to be any different okay. than any other? People are screwed up, Danny. Probably Christians more than others. Alright, take care. You too. Well, hello. How are you? Good morning. Nice to see you. Oh, it's great to see you. Good to see you again. Yeah. Oh, it's great to have you here. Thanks, Thanks. for joining us. Great good sermon. Good All right. Enjoyed it. Good. Right. See you again. I was really touched by your sermon today, Pastor. Well, thanks, Cindy. Do you think you could find some time to meet up and talk with me? Sure. That's what I'm here for. Um, give me a call tomorrow morning and uh, let's set up a time. Thanks. Take care. You know, Anne, I've been really struggling with this whole adoption thing. I mean, I, 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 I've prayed about it. I, I've, I've wrestled with the Lord over this. And I just can't seem to come up with a definitive answer. And the thought of babies, toddlers, teenagers makes me feel tired and broke just thinking about it. I mean... I'll never get to retire. I understand your hesitation, but you have been such a wonderful father to our children. And even though you'll want to retire from your job someday, that doesn't mean you'll ever retire from being a parent. Oh, I struggle with feeling selfish or, or that I'm pushing my own agenda. And I ask God, why has he given me this desire to raise another child? And why has he given us the parenting skills he has? And did you get an answer? Only that I can do all things through him that gives me strength. And all the gifts and talents God has blessed us with are to be used to serve him by serving others. I guess. I'm just scared. I am too, honey. Speaking of serving others, we'll be home in a minute. I know you're hungry, Jack. You're always hungry. Let me ask you something. If we're such wonderful parents, why are the kids at home starving to death? Hey, leave your sister alone. She's only home for a few more days. So, there it is. Your mom and I want to be parents again. Um, isn't that illegal at your age? I mean, she's right. You guys are kind of old. 
Well, I think it sounds great. Yeah, I agree. You guys are still great parents. Why not? Are you kidding me? Look, by the time this kid's in grade school, you'll both be getting the senior discount at Dairy Queen. You mean, you'll be going to his ball games, parking in the handicapped spots, and then when he actually graduates, you guys will be finding your seats in a walker. What are his friends gonna think? <sighs> Look, guys, whatever, whatever floats your boat, just go right ahead and float it, you know? Just <laughs> go for it. But, you know, you already have uh, four exceptionally good-looking kids, so I guess I just have to ask, why? Well, I, I have always enjoyed being a mom to you kids, and Jack's almost finished with high school. I, I have a lot of energy for being a mom and a lot of love to give yet. Um, question? Can't you find another way to channel that instead of adopting, like, you know, knitting? <laughs> Look, <clears throat> besides all of this, the Lord dwells here. You guys know that. And to bring this child into a loving Christian home, teach them the ways of God and introduce them to Jesus? Well, what better reason to adopt than that? Okay, I support you guys. Are you, look, am I the only sane one in this family? I mean, are you really thinking about what this means? Uh, just chill out, Jack. Your role as obnoxious little brother, it's safe and sound, man, okay? No little baby's gonna take that away from you, boy or girl. Just chill, relax. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I don't know, I still think it should be illegal at your age. <sighs> Look, I know this is all a bit of a shock to everybody, and, and it's a lot to lay on you at one time. So I think this is a lot to think about. Let's just sit back and relax and contemplate all of this, and I think maybe it's probably appropriate that we, we pray about this. Put it in God's hands. a problem? No, no, no problem. 
Fine, let's move on. Now these documents you'll need to take to your doctor. You need to get them signed and notarized, stating that you're in good health, adequate to raise a child, and have no communicable diseases. Can we send these later and bring them back? Well, she said we had to sign this one form before we leave. Okay. Actually, she said she had to witness us signing it. Are you okay? Well, this is just a bit much. Let's just sign this one and take the rest of this stuff home. One step at a time. Hey, Polly. You're either eating too many cheeseburgers or you're pregnant. Uh, uh, Polly, I, I was gonna tell you. Either way. Don't come back till you trim the fat. Get going. Hey, Danny. Come here a second. We still need three letters of recommendation, a family portrait, a copy of our financial statement, and we have to write a statement saying why we want to adopt. And that's just for this step. All right. What's this? It's a copy of the contract that the birth mother has to sign, saying that she'll take care of herself during the pregnancy, that she won't use drugs or alcohol. If she breaks the contract, the agency pulls out, and the adoption doesn't happen. This is one tough contract. Well, I hope she has good friends to support her. She's going to need them. Please don't go. I can't do this on my own. If I stay, that baby goes. They're gonna pay money for the baby. How much? I don't know, but. enough to change our life. I like that. I like that. I can't believe you brought me here. We haven't done this in years. I know. You probably don't remember. The last time we came up here, you were pregnant with Jack. Well, now that all the paperwork's done, I guess we're pregnant again. Yeah, yes we are. <laughs> you know what? Let's pray. Let's pray like we did the last time we were here. Dear Heavenly Father, what an incredible life you've given us. You've blessed us with four wonderful children and now you've given us an opportunity to start over and do it again. Be with us, Lord, as, as we have many hoops to jump through and many challenges ahead. Not the least of which is to meet the birth mother for the first time. Be with her. Give her the strength and the courage to deliver this beautiful life 
into our world, into your world. In his precious name we pray. So, Cindy, how are you doing? Honestly, Pastor, I thought I was doing pretty well. You just, you go on with life and you push the painful things into the background. There are days when I'm surprised at how present it is. It's a weight that I live with and I just can't get rid of. Cindy, that was a very traumatic event in your life. Sometimes I think I can see his face. I can visualize him playing baseball or, or soccer like when I was a kid. He'd be seven. I see boys that age and it's, it's just too much. How do you think God feels about all of this? I'd like to say that I think he forgives me, that he loves me. But there are times, alone, at night, when I think maybe he hates me. And how could he not? I guess that's garbage that I have to live with. You know, it's my punishment. But Cindy, that garbage was disposed of a long time ago. But what about the guilt? I know. It's hard to feel forgiven. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is I know that he forgives me, but I can't shake this feeling of worthlessness. Cindy, I know you feel worthless and guilty since your abortion. It, 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 it must torment you every day. But Scripture reassures us that God is the healer of the brokenhearted, the lifter of your chin. Understand, God can change a person's heart, change the way they feel. I want that so bad. You know, Cindy, I have a feeling that, that if you were to face God right now and ask, God, do you remember that abortion I got seven years ago? He'd interrupt you and say, no, stop. I've forgotten all about that. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Thank God, Cindy. In everything you say and do from now on, Come on, wake up. Time to get to work. carefully and if you agree sign at the bottom so uh, all of the hospital bills are paid for and uh, 
how much money do I get beside that? You'll only receive a small amount for helping with living expenses during this time. So, for like food and prenatal vitamins. You know the essentials to keep you and the baby healthy during the pregnancy. to meet us. You're kidding. We're going to meet her tomorrow at the diner across from the agency. Oh, wow. This is really happening. But I know. I'm so nervous. Oh, buckle your seatbelt. Here we go. Hi. So, how you been feeling? Well, I only vomit six times a day now instead of ten, so we're on the up and up. That sounds awful. Have you tried lemon drops? They really helped me when I was sick. Oh, um, I'm not drinking alcohol during the pregnancy. Oh, I don't think they have alcohol in them. Lemon drops? Those little yellow candies? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I haven't tried those. Well, you should try them. They really help me. So, um, if you don't mind me asking, why did you choose us out of what? Six other couples? You know, I... I don't know. I guess I just like the stuff in your album. I mean, your house looks really nice, and your other kids look great. I, I guess I just want a good place for my kid. Well, we try to keep a good home. Yeah, a home. Anyway, you guys have a lot of other kids, so what's one more? Hi, good afternoon, folks. I'm Brandy, and I will be your server this afternoon. Can I get you guys some drinks to start off with? Well. I'm ready to order, so how about you ladies? What can I get for you, ma'am? Um, I'll just have a cup of coffee. Are you sure? Look, we're buying lunch. Get anything you want. All right, um, I'll have a, a salad with ranch on the side. And I'll have the chicken salad with iced tea. And for you, sir. I will have the special and a Coke. Special and a Coke. Alrighty, perfect. I will be right out with your drinks, and your food should be here shortly after that. Well, uh, thanks for sharing your last piece of chicken with me. I guess I was more hungry than I thought. My pleasure. So, what's the next step? What do you mean? next? What do we do if I want you two to be my baby's parents? Well, I'm sure there's about a million papers to sign. Are you, are you sure this is what, I mean, 
we are who you want? Yeah. You guys seem cool. Mm. Here's your check, and I will be your cashier when you guys are ready. Well, I, I guess the next step is to call the agency and let them know of your intentions. Okay. Hey, you want to meet the rest of the family? Let's have a barbecue at our house. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right, we'll let you know. Right. Well, you know what? This has been fun, but it's about time for me to go. Oh, you must have a lot to tend to. Oh, I do. <laughs> we'll contact the agency. Is that okay? Of course. Me too. So, baby mama coming over to your house tonight? I don't even want to talk about it. This whole thing is just making me angry. Girl, Elvis is in the house! Let's welcome Elvis! Your dad's still doing the Elvis bit, huh? Yeah, likes to keep things hip and relevant for the kids. Hi there, hi. Well, hello everybody. Well, as you can see, I've come alive. Since I've come around, I've been, I've been spending a lot of time at this church seeing new things and getting inspired and getting new ideas by everything that goes on here. I've been so inspired, especially by the staff here, that I've, well, I've, I've written some new music. Yes, I have. Thank you, thank you. For example, I heard this incredible sermon the other day by Pastor Steve, who talked about the Holy Spirit, and he described it like a dove coming down from heaven on to Jesus at the time of his baptism. Later on, he talked about the Holy Spirit appearing at the Pentecost as tongues of fire on the heads of the disciples. Well, I was so inspired by that that I came up with these words entitled, Hunk a hunk a burning dove. A hunk a hunk a burning dove. Hey, what can I do for you cats? Hey, do you mind if Ty comes over for lunch today? Hey, that'd just be groovy. I think your decades are a little mixed up there, Pops. Oh, sure, Ty. You know, you're always welcome. We can have enough food to feed an army anyway. Well, thanks, Pastor. Hey, call me the king. See you at home, Dad. Dude, that'd just be totally tubular. You know, these people are like the old men you dance for. Tease them with the baby, and they'll pay up. Don't put it that way, Seth. We aren't doing anything wrong. If we do this right, everybody wins. They get the baby, and we get the money. You know, put it any way you want. But make sure that they want you, that they want this baby. Hey, get your own. I don't have time to stop beforehand. 
Pick something up on your way along. Bring it home. So is the, the baby's father in the picture? Don't be rude, man. It was just a question, Tom. No, it, it's okay, really. The father is in the picture. His name is Seth. How old is he? He's 30. Like older men? Yeah, I, I guess so. So are, are you guys in school or something? Or? Yeah, I'm studying to be a teacher and Tom here is gonna be a pastor just like his dad. Teacher, I don't think I could be around kids that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Listen. I'm gonna go see if your mom needs any help. What, what's your problem, Jack? Well, I don't trust her. You're insane. Uh, come on, let's go. You're being kind of harsh, dude. Well, someone's gotta be. Everyone else is running around with their heads up their butts. I'm gonna find some dirt on her. Just watch. Well, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts that you've given us, for the food that's been prepared, and, and for the hands that have lovingly prepared it. May it nourish our bodies. We're thankful, Lord, for all of us being together today. And we're especially thankful that you brought Danielle to be with us. Bless our time together. Bless our conversation. In his precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, Danielle, since you're the guest of honor, why don't you begin? I can do that. <laughs> So, uh, what religion are you guys anyway? We're Lutheran. My husband has been a pastor of the Lutheran Church for almost 20 years. Uh, Danielle, uh, do you happen to go to church anywhere? You know what? I tried that whole church thing with one of my foster parents. Didn't like it much. There were just too many pretenders that would act one way on a Sunday morning and a completely different way on Saturday night. I guess we're all just pretenders in our own way. <laughs> Well, we're not perfect, but we are forgiven. You know, Danielle, maybe you should come and visit our church. I think you'd like it. Uh, well, maybe I'll check it out sometime. So, uh, Tom's going to be a pastor just like his old man, huh? Yeah, 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 we're very proud. <laughs> uh, Danielle, I don't think I uh, caught it, but uh, what, what do you happen to do for a living? Well, to be honest, I'm actually not working right now. But uh, as soon as I'm done having this kid and lose a few pounds, I'll, I'll probably get back to work as a dancer somewhere. Oh, you're a dancer? That's awesome. I love to dance. Isn't hip-hop, like, the best ever? I can't listen to this anymore. Excuse me. I can't believe I forgot the umbrella. Didn't realize it was gonna rain today. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not that far to walk. Listen, thanks for today. It was really nice. It was our pleasure. You take care of yourself. Oh, and there's anything you need, anything, let us know. I will. Thanks. See you later, man. <laughs> yeah, sorry again. Hey, no problem. All right, take care. Come up front. What the hell, Seth? Well, I talked to Phil today. You can't imagine the profit we could turn around with this stuff. <laughs> so, now you're a dealer. No, no, no. Just this once. You know, we could quadruple our money in like a month. What money? What are you talking about? Well, I had to borrow a few thousand to get up and running. But the money for the baby should be here by the time I have to pay it back. Oh, Seth, I... 
I don't even know how much money that's going to be. Or when it's even coming. Now don't worry about it, honey. Everything will be just fine. I mean, this baby's got to be worth at least ten grand to these people. I mean, I don't want to feed this family just once with this money. I want it to feed us for a lifetime. So, did you seal the deal? Yeah. They're really nice. I knew you could do it. Well, I suppose we need to celebrate. I don't really feel like it. What? Come on. Are they making you take random drug tests? No, I just... I'm just really tired. Do whatever you want. Now, come on. Don't make me feel bad for doing something fun. I know that look. I'm not giving you any look. I'm just... Uh... I just haven't slept well these past few nights. What, are you gonna sleep for the next three months? Come on over here and celebrate with me. You know this will wake you up. So why aren't you saying anything? Well, you know, I'm just a little bewildered at your behavior today. We didn't raise you to act that way. Dad, I said I was sorry. What else do you want from me? Well, if you have concerns, communicate them. Don't act them out. All right. I don't like this Danielle adoption thing. Well, you certainly made that painfully clear. Look, I want to know what you think. Tell me what's on your mind. Dad, let's face it. She's a stripper. What else don't we know about her? Well, you know, we all make mistakes. And I'm relatively certain she's made a couple of mistakes in her life. I have, so have you. Yeah, Dad, I know we've all made our, you know, mistakes, but come on, a stripper? Look, do I need to air some of our dirty laundry? No, Dad, just think about it for a second. A stripper! She obviously hasn't learned anything. Well, you don't know that, do you? Look, son, granted, she has made some bad mistakes. She's made some selfish choices in her life. But her decision to give life to this baby and then to allow us to adopt it and provide a better life than probably what Danielle had. Well, do you not see how unselfish that is? You know, and Mother and I just want to honor that choice by providing a safe and loving and secure home for this child. Yeah, look, Dad, I, I'm glad that you chose to keep the baby alive. All right. I mean, I really am, but as for us adopting it, I just, I think that that is just wrong for our family. Well, you know, I see God's hand in this situation. For whatever reason, Danielle has chosen to give life to this unborn child. And so we're just going to trust that God has put into our life for a reason. Dad, look, I understand that, you know, God has control of everything. God's hand is in everything. But that doesn't change the fact that God gave us our common sense for a reason. You do see things clearly, son. I'll give you that. We just have to trust God in this situation. We don't know what the future holds. But we do know who holds the future. That's good enough for me. I've heard your concerns, I listen to your arguments, and I appreciate that, but your mother and I are convinced that God wants us to adopt Danielle's baby. That's the bottom line. Heavenly Father. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry, honey. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's okay. He knows what I was going to say. Well, it's on my heart, too. You scared? <laughs> Who wouldn't be? I'm sorry. I'm just a little rattled by my conversation with Jack. Oh, how'd the talk go? Well, you know, he's just scared we're going to get hurt. And I can't say I blame him. I mean, our hearts are out there. They're on the table for everyone to see. 
not on the table, in God's hands. He's holding our hands and leading us. We don't always know where, but I do know we need to follow. You're right. You're right. Hello? This is Danielle. Oh, hi, Danielle. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, listen, my boyfriend just found us a new apartment, and he's just taking care of the logistics right now. But I was wondering if we could maybe get some help moving furniture to our new place. Oh, darn. Ben and I are leaving to visit Tom and Sarah in Nebraska in about an hour. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll send Jack and one of his friends over to help. Oh, no, no problem at all. He'd love to do whatever he can do to help. All right, sounds, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, well, I'll talk to you soon. Talk soon, bye. Danielle needs some help moving some things into her new apartment. You and Ty can go help before you go shoot hoops. We can. Thanks, honey. You're welcome, Mom. You need to get your stuff out of here. Chill out. Somebody's coming in an hour to help me out. Okay, girl, you've got one hour. I said chill out. Somebody's coming. What more do you expect me to do? One hour. I've got one hour. Okay, you two. Be good. And remember, young man, in the house, 11 o'clock, both nights. Yeah, Dad, I know the drill. Hey, and say hello to Danielle for us. Be nice to her, Jack. She's in the home stretch. I will, Mom. See you guys in a couple of days. See you guys. It's secret agent time. She can't hide from me now. Let's do it. I can take it from here. Seth is gonna meet me at the new apartment to help unload. You're sure you don't want us to follow you? I mean, we really can't help you unload. Oh, no, it's all right. We got it from here. Thank okay. you, though. I appreciate it. Call the house if you need anything. I'll Bye. most likely be there. All right, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. right. See you guys later. Bye. Let's follow her. Dude, leave her alone. She seems nice enough. I just want to see where she's going. Come on. A stranger emerges. Where's Seth? He was supposed to meet me two hours ago. I don't know. He's been gone all morning. Tell him he has till the end of the day to call me. Okay. You look smart. Have him call me. I hear ya. Target's on the move. Dude, I can't believe you ditched on me. No, just a bunch of, I don't know, skanky people running around. Hey, let me call you back. All right, bye.
Yeah, uh, I, I just dropped tie up and I'm heading home. Yeah, call me at 11, I'll be there. All right, yeah, okay, bye dad. What the hell do you think you're doing? I just wanted to be sure you were safe. You're, you're so full of it. This is too much. Calling it off with your parents. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. All right. I I'm sorry. Look, I was just curious. I didn't mean any harm. Seth? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What, what, what happened to you? Seth, who did this? Who the hell is that? Uh, it's just the son of the adoptive family. He was just leaving. This doesn't look good, Danielle. It isn't good, Seth. Come on, let's just go inside. I'll take care of this. Stop. Seth! You're not gonna go home to your mommy and daddy and tell them about this, are you? No! Huh? I don't even know what's going on. I swear if this baby deal falls through, I'll find you. You make sure nobody hears about what you saw tonight. I'll kill you! Go! Get out of here, Jack! <laughs> I need this money, Danielle. You're not gonna give us any money, Seth. That kid is not going to say anything to his parents. This thing is still on. There is no money, Seth. There never was. Danielle, what? <laughs> Danielle, I'm a dead man. Why didn't you tell me? Because I needed you to stay. I needed your shoulder to lean on. We gotta go. No, Seth, I can't live like this anymore. This thing is over. Nobody will want this baby. And if you don't come with me, nobody will want you. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I can't run. Not anymore. I'm... I'm tired. Look, if you gotta go, just, just go. Give me the keys to the truck. taking everything with me. What is it you're looking for? I don't know. But it's not this. And it's not you. It probably isn't mine anyways. Hey, Dad. Yeah, yeah, we're home. No, we're just gonna, um, watch some TV and then hit the hay. Yeah, uh, late service tomorrow. Okay. Bye. What are you gonna do? I don't know. What's up, Dad? Your mom, uh, pretty excited to have another one of these little critters running around. You know, son, I'm getting used to the idea. Come here. Look at her. We were meant to do this. Hey, Dad, why don't we go rescue Mom? Yeah, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I gotta tell him, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Hey, listen, they just walked in. Can I call you back? All right, yeah, bye. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi, dear. How are you, Mom? Good. How was your trip? Oh, we had a great trip. Good. How are hey, you? Hey, I'm good, Dad. How are you? Good to see you again. You too. Hey, listen, can I talk to you for a uh, minute? Sure, sure, sure. I can talk. Help your old man with the bags. All right. Uh, Dad, listen, uh, something happened over at Danielle's the other night that I need to talk to you about. You know, son, I've probably been less than certain about this whole adoption thing. But you know what? 
Now, it's in concrete. Your mother and I are absolutely certain that this is the road that God wants us to take. There's nothing you can say that's gonna change that. Look, Dad, it's just her boyfriend. It's just, he's not... Relax. Sit back and enjoy the ride. We can't follow Danielle around 24-7. She's gonna have to live her own life. Yeah, I mean, look, I understand what you're saying. I just, I never wanna have to say I told you so. <laughs> I love you, son. God wants this adoption to happen, and whatever happens, it was meant to be. You know, I can tell you that you're just going to have to trust me. But I'm not sure how it's going to end myself. But God does. Trust Him. Now, come on, I got this cool souvenir I bought you at the truck stop. You're gonna love it. It's not another cassette tape, is it? Wait till you find out. I'm at the hospital. Danielle's gone into labor. What? She can't be. She's two weeks early. What do you mean? It's happening. So get to the hospital already. All right, fine, fine. I'll, I'll be there. All right. Love you, too. <laughs> Things are progressing more quickly now. It shouldn't be much longer. That's what she said three hours ago. <laughs> Welcome to Daddy's wonderful world of waiting. I don't know how you did it all those times. Well, I tell you, I'm a big tough guy. I can take it. <laughs> oh, and uh, for the record, it's only been one hour. It just seems like three. <laughs> starting to think it's easier to give birth than it is to wait for it to happen. Well, finally, you know my pain. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a girl. Oh, a girl. Oh, a baby oh, girl. So, oh, it's so wonderful. I can't it. Oh, Here. is everything okay? Can I see her? We just want to hold her. It'll be a few minutes. Now do what I can. Oh, thank you. Oh, isn't this I can't wonderful? How long we've oh, waited. And it, it, she's finally here. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the Davises? Uh, yes, we yeah. are. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Cheryl Fremont, the administrative nurse on duty. We need to go over a few details. Do you have your adoption paperwork with you? What? No, we don't because, well, the baby's early. Um, we're, we're sort of new at this. I mean, I mean, not at being parents, but at this whole adoption thing. Is something wrong? Did Danielle change her mind? No, but. Mr. and Mrs. Davis, I just really need to see the paperwork. Well, okay. We live just a few miles from here. I'll run home and get them. Be back in just a few minutes. That'll be fine. I'll check back with you in 15 minutes or so. Okay. Sure. Okay. Don't worry, honey. Everything's gonna be just fine. Okay. Look, I'll run home. I'll get the papers. I'll be right back. Okay. Gonna be okay? Yeah. Mm. Look, do me a favor, would you? Mm -hmm. Give our new little girl a big kiss for me, okay? All right, we will. <sighs> Here's the little girl, Mrs. Davis. Oh, look. It was a difficult oh, birth, but... Oh, she's just beautiful. Oh, she's shivering. Can you get me a blanket? She seems like she's cold. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Mrs. Davis. Oh, oh, hi, Mrs. Fremont. My husband's gone to get the paperwork. He'll be back in a minute. Oh, look at my daughter. Isn't she just beautiful? We did a blood test on the baby. She's tested positive for cocaine. Oh, no. Obviously, oh, no. the mother has been ingesting it throughout her pregnancy. 
But she looked just fine. Mrs. Davis, oh. it was a difficult birth. We had to continue to oh. give pain medicine to Danielle. Danielle. Oh, but she looks fine. What does this mean? The adoption agency has been contacted. Oh. The adoption will have to be canceled. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Please Didn't don't. Didn't the birth mother oh. sign a contract stating that oh. she wouldn't take oh, yes, drugs but, during the but pregnancy? This, but, well, oh. obviously she took drugs oh. throughout oh, the pregnancy. Oh. Social services has been contacted. Oh. Oh, They'll be coming don't. for the child oh, please soon. Don't. Please, no. Please. please don't do this. Please. Oh, please. Oh, oh, please. We want her. Can't we still adopt no, her? No, oh, I am sorry. Oh, please, as I, out. I am sorry. Please, as I please, explained, please, please, the birth mother signed a contract. Oh, you oh, signed please. the same contract. Oh, oh, the adoption is null oh, and void. Oh, please, don't do this. Please. Oh. Oh. I just walked in the door. Uh, I know right where the papers are at. They're on the kitchen counter, so I'll go get them. I'll be right. What? What? Honey, you're not making any sense. Quit screaming. Slow down. Yeah? You're kidding. No, no, I'm, I'm here. Listen, I'll come right down. Don't try to drive home. Don't get in the car. I'm going to come right down. I'm going to pick you up. Don't try to drive home. Don't listen to me. Are you sure? Just be careful. No, no, no. No, no, I'll be fine. Just be careful. Oh! Dad, I'm sorry.
Or is there anything wrong? Oh, sorry. You know, we're still having a hard time with the loss of this adoption. I keep thinking we could have pressed the issue. You know, we could have gone down to the adoption agency and said, "Look, we'll adopt that baby." There would have been a mountain of paperwork, I know, and a mile of red tape, but it would have been worth it. We didn't even try. Pastor, let me ask you: Do you think God has a home in mind for every child out there that needs to be adopted? I do. I agree. I think we all do. I do, yeah. We do. I just can't help thinking, though, that this just wasn't meant to be. God has probably placed that child in a home that's just the right home for her. I guess, but I still feel guilty. Pastor? There's not a Sunday that goes by that you don't tell us about the grace and forgiveness of God. I don't know if your guilt about this situation is justified or not, but I do know God loves you. He loves you, Pastor. He sent his son to die not only for the punishment of all our sins, but for the guilt of it too. We just have to let the future be in God's hands. Wow, you guys are amazing. <laughs> hello, Clara. How are you doing today? What can I do for you? Oh, just came by to say hello. I can't believe you made the trip down here just to say hello to the pastor. Come on in. What can I do for you? Oh. I don't want to bother you and I don't want to take your time, but I've, I've got one little question that I'd like to ask you. No bother. Ask away. Well, I was wondering if you and Annie could meet with my granddaughter. Do you think that'd be all right? That'd be no problem. What would she like to meet about? Well, she's got a couple questions for the both of you about that adoption agency that you went to. And quite frankly, her life at this point is... It's just a mess, and I just thought maybe you could help. Well, we'd be glad to help. Um, let's see. Let's meet tomorrow morning after church. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thanks. See you then. Yeah, I think the weather is nicer this year than it was last. <laughs> That's for sure. You know, Dad, since I've been away at school, I feel kind of bad I wasn't here when the whole adoption fell through. Are you doing okay? Hmm. You know, Jen, I'm not going to lie to you. That was probably the most difficult valley I ever had to walk through in my life. But, God is faithful. And he helped your mother and I through a very, very dark time. I'm really proud of how you two have handled things. Thanks. So do you think he'll try to adopt again? <laughs> if God wants us to adopt, he's going to have to drop that baby right into our lap and make it very obvious before we'll consider that. You know, we're pretty content with you four kids. We have a wonderful family, and we have a beautiful daughter-in-law, and, and, and a grandbaby on the way. God's been really good to us. We're, we're very, very happy right now. So what do you think happened to Danielle and her baby? Don't know. We may never know. But I believe that God has a plan for her, too. Just not sure she'll listen. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye, Grandma. Bye. Well, welcome. 
I have a seat, Angela. So, your grandmother tells us that you're interested in learning about the adoption agency that we use when we try to adopt. Well, Anne here is the expert, so ask away. All right, well, as you can see, I'm eight months pregnant. Oh my goodness, you're gonna have to move on this quickly. I know, and initially, I was going to have my sister and her husband adopt the baby, but they're sort of having problems, and I didn't think it would be right for the baby. Oh, I understand. So, tell me about this agency. I, I guess what I really wanna know is, what if a birth mother already has a couple in mind to adopt her baby? Would I still need to go through the agency? I don't think so. Well, maybe. I don't know. I think you would probably go through a lawyer, but I'm not so sure. Well, what if this birth mother wants you guys to adopt her baby? Would I still go through the agency? Excuse me? I want you guys to adopt this baby. Oh. <sighs> uh. Well, my grandmother told me your story about the first adoption. She said it was the saddest thing, and she just loves you two both so much. She, she just said that you love the Lord, and that you love kids, and you have a wonderful family. What more could I want for this child? Would you do it? Would we do this? <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, we would. We will do this. Oh, hi, Cindy. How's that new baby treating you? Good. How's yours doing? Keeping us up at night. Of course, you know what that's like. You know, we're just sort of retraining ourselves, like riding a bike, I guess. Well, I'm glad that I caught you. I, I just came to say goodbye. Goodbye? I'm moving back home to be closer to my parents. So you told them? Yeah, and they were upset, but not about me getting pregnant, just that I waited so long to tell them about it. Be expecting a long thank you letter from my mom. Cindy, how are you doing? Spiritually, I mean. Are you gonna be ready for the challenges ahead? No worries, Pastor. Nate, the baby's father, He's moving with me. I think it's just the fresh start that we needed. <laughs> That's great. Congratulations. You know, we may have done things a little out of order, but we do love each other. I can't thank you enough for your sessions. They've been a great help. And I know that I'll continue to grow as long as I'm in God's Word. You know, I really feel like 
He has a hand in it all. Well, you know, he does have a way of working things out, doesn't he? Even if we don't always see things clearly ourselves. I'll be praying for you, Cindy. For the purpose of our records, would you please, in a few words, tell the court why it is your desire to adopt this child? Well, I didn't have anything prepared, but okay. You know, when we began this journey, I was admittedly a reluctant passenger. I had every excuse in the book not to adopt. It's too old, too tired, too poor, when in fact I was just being too selfish. And then as he often does, God intervened in my life. And he spoke to me from two different places. The first was from my lovely but crazy wife who simply asked the question, why shouldn't we do this? We've been parents before. We're pretty good at it. What's different this time is we'd be better. Of course, she was right. She's always right. And so when this gift drifted down from heaven and into our laps, I instinctively scooped him up into my arms and held him close and whispered in his ear, Welcome to our family, son. I promise you, we'll love you with every breath of our body. We'll protect you with our very lives. And you'll always be able to count on us because we're always going to be together. Then at that moment, God spoke to me again. And he said to me what was always in my heart, but I didn't realize it. What was always there, but I never saw it until at that moment. When all along, I just want to be a dad again. And I just want to be his mom. Well said. That's good enough for me. The state of Colorado places Joshua Jonathan Davis in the permanent parental care of Ben and Ann Davis on this day, the 22nd of November, 2008. Court dismissed. You know what? I was adopted twice. First, into the Davis family, and later into God's family through faith in Jesus Christ. An adopted child of God for keeps. And all that my family went through before I came along reminds us all that sometimes life isn't easy. The trials that all of us go through remind us that we're just passing through here on earth, headed for our final home in heaven with our loving Heavenly Father. And when we get there, then we'll see our Father face to face. Then we'll understand how God works all things for our good. Then we'll have no more trials, no more tears, no more heartache with our awesome God together for good.
your tears when they took me from your arms. I'm sure I must have heard you say goodbye. Young and so afraid, had you made a big mistake? Could an ocean even hold the tears you cried? But you had dreams for me, you wanted the best for me, and you made the only choice you could have. Share a warm embrace Or would you know me in your heart Or would you smile and let me walk on by Knowing you had dreams for me You wanted the best for me Oh, I hope that you'll be proud of who I am You gave life to me A chance to find Playing baseball with my son late at night 